This exercise is a really good way of analysing face structure and gives you clues as to where to place lights. Watching a light arc around the face is key to understanding portrait lighting, scanning the face for its structure and noticing how light affects it. It can help if you imagine five points on the face, nose, chin, both cheeks and forehead, and use this as a map of where the light is. I also like to divide the face into four lighting surfaces or facets, ear to jaw, cheek to nose on each side of the face, four vertical bands. As the light arcs around the face, you can see how it affects each facet individually. So now when we watch the light arc, we can see how the shape of the face changes, plotting it with these techniques. Front light is the point where the light is flattest. This direction is best for concealing structural and skin imperfections, and it can have a broadening effect on the face, with the least amount of three-dimensional shape. When you get to three-quarter front, you can start to see the cheek and nose produce the first line of shadows, revealing more of the shape of the face. Side light, by casting half the face in shadow, produces again more dramatic effects. Once the light arcs around from side light to back light, the bone structure and muscular frame of the face is more apparent. The brow fold of the skin where the lips meet the cheek muscles and eye socket bone. This exercise is a really good way of analysing face structure and gives you clues as to where to place lights. Now moving onto the skin. Watch how the tone and texture of the skin change depending on the angle of the light. The colour of the skin along with the layer of oil on top of the skin determine how reflective skin is, how shiny or matte, and therefore how it reflects the source of the light. Notice the reflection is more pronounced when you get to a side back angle with the light. Also notice at this angle how the texture of the skin is more apparent, the pores of the skin, fine hairs and wrinkles all show up more. And finally notice how the light also becomes more monochromatic the further towards backlight you go, the more saturated the more you move towards front light. You can literally see the colour and tone of the skin change as the light arcs around the face. Let's return to the differences between hard and soft light. Let's now look at how these qualities of light affect our reading of the human face. Remember, with hard light, the light rays emanate from a single point source in space, producing hard transition from light to shade and as a result a hard shadow line. With hard light you will get a hard nose shadow, a more delineated jawline and, depending on the angle, a point of light in the eye or shaded eye sockets. Generally, it will emphasise the shape and structure of the face more. It's very good at emphasising form and creating modelling, a term used to describe the process of defining shape or three dimensions on a two-dimensional screen. At acute angles, it will further emphasise surface skin texture, showing skin pore, surface hairs and wrinkles. Therefore, hard light used at certain angles can make things appear more three-dimensional. When used without much fill in the shadows, it can be visual binary, a bold contrast between light and shade, drawing attention to the highlights and shadows in a more graphic way, concealing parts of the face and potentially creating more drama. It's often interpreted as strong, definite, secretive, masculine, revealing the structure of the face in a clearly defined way, associated with harsh sun and harsh localised lighting at night, and more capable of producing chiaroscuro, light dark with minimal work. Soft light produces softer edge shadows by virtue of the light scattering and producing a wrapping around and filling in effect. Soft light is generally more gentle and enveloping. It's used to reveal more subtle characters, more mid-tones. It caresses the skin, changing tone and form in subtle graduations. Large soft highlights change gradually into soft shadows on the curved surface of the subject. The character of the light is more feminine, open and honest, revealing subtleties of the face. Soft light is not necessarily flat light. The direction of the source can be dramatic and the absence of fill can result in strong contrast and chiaroscuro light. In reality, you tend to work with varying degrees of hard and soft, often in combination. A single soft source is often striking for its elegance and beauty and a single hard light for its graphic drama. In most situations, the face is lit with a variety of lighting textures. Understanding and replicating these produce the most complex and richest images. 
So in summary, hard light is good at creating dramatic shape on the face and soft light is good at revealing subtle character. By understanding the different characters of lights, you will get to know what to choose and how to combine them effectively.